Hey guys, I want to show a uh, test of resin infusion or carbon fiber resin infusion. Um, this is something I'll be doing on these uh, molds I make or the bodies I make for carbon fiber cars with a mold. And I got two up there above me. Got some serious issues with flies. I'm in a new construction area, so you're going to see them flying around. Anyway, um, what we got here underneath is carbon fiber, two pieces. Um, the white piece with the red stripes is called peel ply. This green mesh above it is called infusion mesh. Got a T fitting and some spiral tubing. Um, basically, the resin is going to come in here and the vacuum is being pulled across to the exit spot. Uh, there is a resin catch pot in case there's any excess, although um, I forget what this is called, but it's kind of like a absorbent material, so that would probably catch excess, and then of course the tube is going to, it's pretty big, so it's going to probably catch most of it too. I doubt it'll actually make it here, and then of course the vacuum pump. Um, I didn't get a perfect seal around here, it's slowly bleeding, but I mean, I've been going around it for a couple minutes with my ear and I just, I can't find the leak and it's, it's pretty close. It's still pulling down to, uh, 30 inches of vacuum. So it's, it's still pretty good. Anyway, I'm going to fire up the vacuum pump. It's already under vacuum. This is all tight. But, um, got to pull the vacuum once I start feeding in the resin here. There'll be a little bit of air in the feed tube as well. This is by no means a tutorial on, on how to do this. I'm new to it. Um, as a reference how to do this sort of thing. I've already mixed up the epoxy resin. I'm gonna set the feed tube in there. And there it goes. That went a lot faster than I expected. So one lesson I already can see is that I shouldn't have had this mesh so far over. It should have been closer to the park because the resin's running all the way out here. I don't need that. So one of the things this tube does is it feeds the resin out instead of just coming straight down the middle, spreads it around. You can actually see the resin traveling down the side because the tube has taken it down and now it's heading that way. I uh, looks like I didn't have enough resin. I mixed up four ounces and it sucked it dry pretty quick pinched off the hose here, folded it so it'll tighten up. Anyway, I'm going to run vacuum on this for a while and see what it does, but first trial, already some lessons learned, and we'll see how it turns out. My issues before was that I was getting some uh, pinholes in the finish on the, the surface, so we'll see if if this is better. Alright, thanks guys.